Hello my brothers and sisters and welcome back to Chris the Butcher and friends and tonight I'm going to be cooking up uh, <laughs> I'm sorry that oh, oh, fucking bollocks Hello my brothers and sisters and welcome back to Chris the Butcher and friends and tonight I'm going to be cooking us up cooking us up take 17 no fuck it roll with it I'm going to be cooking us up, right, a summer sandwich. It's going to have two types of meat on it. I can't speak tonight. Two types of meat on it, some horseradish sauce, some cucumber, some pickles, all slapped in a bagel. So basically, that's it. Chris the Butcher's summer sandwich. Very summery, even though it's pissing down outside. As you will guess, part of the way through this video, right, I changed my mind on this. And I'm doing this as a challenge video. And uh, I'm going to nominate three YouTubers at the end, right? Preferably YouTube cooks. Small channels, pro, you know, under 10,000k, anywhere that'll do. We'll leave it at that ballpark because that gives us a good score, doesn't it? And uh, I'm going to call this the Non-Vegan Sandwich Challenge. Now, you can use a bit of veg. You can use whatever veg, fruit, if you like. But the prime recipe in a sandwich has to be good old meat. Right? It has to be meat. It cooked it in blood if you want, then you'll fucking get it, right? So I'll nominate three of you at the end of this. Then who I nominate, then they'll nominate three others, so on and so forth. Get some uh, recognition between all us small YouTubers, all us little creators, as they say. And I'm going to put this in an hashtag, and this is going to be hashtag non vegan sandwich challenge. Anyway, let's uh, crack on my intro. Hopefully, this is a quick one tonight. Biss back bosh. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm doing one for the video. I've seasoned my two pieces of thin steak, which is sirloin, with garlic and salt, nothing else. And I've put oil in the pan. Now, they are thin, so they shouldn't take long to cook. And then with that as well, a leg lamb steak, which is seasoned identically like the beef. So we'll cook them off, should only take five, six minutes to for these to cook, and then uh, we'll crack on. Let's go for the turn. The leg lamb steak. Beautiful. Two pieces of sirloin. Beautiful. Right, them steaks are done. So I'm going to get them off the heat, let them rest, for about five to ten minutes. So, I've had an epiphany. Do you know when we did the small channel movement, where we had to nominate and shout out other little channels? This is my challenge, right? I am going to do, I'm going to call this the non-vegan sandwich challenge. So this will be called the non-vegan sandwich the prime emphasis around it, it's got meat on it, right? It might have a bit of veg, right? See a load there, I'm not using all that. And I will nominate three other YouTubers to do their take on a non-vegan sandwich. And in return, they will then do that and then they will nominate three other YouTubers, or as many as I like actually. To do the same. And we'll call it the hashtag non-vegan sandwich challenge. Right, let's put this bucket together. There is my bagel. I'm going to go on with the pickles. Because I don't want everything coming out of the fucking big hole in the middle of it. And then on top of that we're going to go with a big lump of lamb. I don't know where I'm going to go from here. Right? 
I think we'll go with a couple of pieces of cucumber. Then we're going to go in with our horseradish sauce. Served on a tweeny fork. There we go. Yeah, baby. Then we've got our steak. And then we've got our lid. And, boys and girls, that is my non-vegan sandwich challenge. Fucking whatever, whatever I said, right? I forgot already. But I'll figure it out by the end of this. And that is it. That is my take on it. I've still got to think of three YouTubers I'm going to challenge to this. But I will. And listen, it won't be massive YouTubers either. It can't be, but there's no point, right? There's no point me challenging Poodie Pie to do this shit, right? Because it's pointless and a wasted nomination, isn't it? Right, anyway, I'm going to get cleaned up. Take the thumbnail for this fucker. I'm going to slide up here and slide that down me gizzard. So before I delve into the nominations, I've got to slide it down my gizzard, have I? Like saying I've got to slide it down my gizzard. There. I've cut it in half for good measure. That is my non-vegan sandwich. It's got a lamb steak on it. It's got a sirloin steak on it. It's got a tiny bit of cucumber, horseradish sauce, Bit of gherkin, pickles as you call it, on a bagel. And that's it basically. That's my offering. Mm. Oh. 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 Oh, also, this sauce nearly lost it. Oh. Mm. oh ho ho ho! Do you know what? These vegans are missing out, aren't they? I'm not banging on about vegans. But uh, someone tagged me in a post on Facebook. And harassing a butcher. We don't harass vegans. I'm thinking I'm trying to make it my mission to harass vegans. As soon as I get a death threat, mission completed. Right? There's a bit more sirloin. Mmm. Oh my god. In the words of Nicki Minaj. Oh my god. Look at that steak. Mm. That is mad fucking fire. So I've been thinking long and hard. Right? <laughs> Uh, dirty minds away, right? I've been thinking long and hard about who I should nominate for this challenge. And it has to be realistic, doesn't it, right? I just dove down here and get a beer. It has to be realistic. By Carstella. Like I said, no point nominating Foody Pie. Or Rick did once. Beard meets food, because it's not going to fucking happen, is it? It's pointless. So I said, we'll keep it to subs uh, channels under 10,000 subscribers. Which rules out Sauce Dash, because I, I I know he won't be interested. Right? Or spin on the fork. It's, it's pointless. Right? So I am going to go in with my first nomination. We only found our channels recently, and I know it. Susie started watching, if he's watching this from the beginning, he'll be chomping at the bit, right? It's from Florida, and that is Meathead, right? Meathead, I challenge you to do the non-vegan sandwich, right? My second one is obviously, probably, Adam's Eats. Come on, Adam. I know you can do this. He might not want to get involved with the vegan shit, though. He don't want to, he don't want to be seen to be upsetting people. So whether Adam does it or not, we'll wait and see. My third one is I have to I have to add him because he likes his controversial shit on live, right? And that is Mark from Marks from Marks. That's mid three. 
but also I'm going to extend it because he's a great supporter of our show. And that is Pete Thomas, the lazy cook. That's four. Pete, I want your take on it. Also, I know he's got 86,000 subscribers, but he's a really, really good support on our channel and, and other channels. And he's really, really responsive. And he's from Rotherham and he can't get a decent banger. And that's Steve Dolby from Steve's Cooking. Steve, if you want to get involved in this, then by all means, you go for it, brother. But at least yours will be a fucking chef's. A chef's shit, won't it? It won't be some like some fucking knobhead like me. He's knocked up in a fucking porky little kitchen. Right? So, who did I nominate them? So we've got Meathead. We've got Adam's Eats. We've got Mark's Remarks. We've got... Pete Thomas, and we've also got Steve's Cooking. All the links to their channels will be in the description. Not up here, because I ain't got fucking room. But, yeah, but mine will be there. Oh, no, oh, it's there, isn't it? Oh, my God, am I sober? I normally do this at part when I'm pissed. Anyway, and subscribe. And become a member of hashtag TCTB. And don't forget, it's hashtag the vegan... No, no. I fucked it already. I am sober. Yeah, it's hashtag the non-vegan sandwich challenge. Good night, God bless, and I fucking love you.